Hello everyone, welcome to Career Talk. This is Anand here. Last week I wrote an answer on Quora to a question which said that what are some dark secrets of the IT industry that one should know before joining any IT company. So the answer is specially aimed at people who have just recently joined the IT company or planning to join an IT company or who have spent some few years in the IT industry. Most of the senior people working in the IT industry would probably know most of the points that I'm going to make here. But these are really important points, not just for the IT industry, but in general as such. So let me go to the first point. You are a hard worker, you are a smart worker, but you should also ensure that you get visibility. Okay. Now ways and means of getting visibility are different in different companies, but there are different forums available where you can go and get some good visibility. For example, you can participate in hackathons, coding competitions, blogging competitions, white paper competitions, you can do certifications, you can participate in idea competitions, you can participate in talent competitions. There are ways and means of doing that, but hard work, smart work plus visibility is the key to success. Okay. Point number two, you need to ask for everything. Okay. If you have a good supervisor or a good manager, there are chances that things will happen naturally to you. But if they don't, you need to ask, ask for every single thing, ask for a better role, ask for a better salary, ask for a promotion, etc, etc. Don't assume that your supervisor or your manager will automatically do things for you. Okay. And this is not in general for IT company. This is true for every company as such. Today, there is so much competition out there that it is better to ask for things. Now, point number three. If you are working in a client environment, your client manager is as important as your own boss in your own company. Okay. Because most of the time this client manager is going to give inputs to your manager in your company about your performance, about recommendations, about the kind of good work that you're doing. So don't underestimate the power of your client manager. Okay. You should give equal importance to your manager as well as to your client manager. Point number four. In service companies, you know that the customer pays for your work. So there is a billing rate that the customer pays to your company and your company pays you the salary. Now, if you are doing the same work over a period of few years, your cost goes on increasing while the customer pays the same amount to your company, which means today, if your company is making 10% profit over a period of time, that 10% profit will reduce because your salary keeps on increasing and the customer pays the same amount. So if today the company is making 10%, there are chances that in next few years, the company may be making 5% or 2% profit. So that is where the problem lies. People don't realize that their cost is increasing and they are not reskilling themselves. Okay. So make sure that you understand the dynamics of billing rate and your cost and you reskill and learn new things so that you have a secure job and a secure career. Now let's move to the next point. Anybody who is aspiring to get into a team lead role or a project manager role, I want to tell you guys that it is not just about having a fancy title. A project manager or a team lead needs to do a lot of other work as well. So anybody who is aspiring to become a team lead or a project manager or get into a management role, I want to tell you guys that the title sounds fancy, but you need to do a lot more than just being a project manager. You need to know how recruitment works. You need to recruit people. You need to understand how a team is managed. You need to conduct team events. You need to understand how customers are managed. You need to manage customer events, customer meetings. So there's a lot more than just managing the scope, quality, time and risk. There are a lot of things that you need to do in a management role. So be prepared for that. Now, point number six is very simple. If you are getting into a management role, please make sure that you learn MS Office like the back of your hand whether it is PowerPoint or whether it is Excel or Outlook or MS Access, you should know each and everything in MS Office, right from Microsoft Project Planner to Microsoft Word. You should have a handle on each and every aspect of it. Okay. And other than this, you also need to develop sound communication skills, both written as well as verbal. These are extremely important for anybody who is getting into a senior role. That was point number six. Now point number seven, growth, your growth in the industry or at your job largely depends on your behavioral skills, your ability to communicate and your ability to build relationships. So I would say out of hundred percent, 20 percent on technical skills and 80 percent on these three things. Now, when I say this, a lot of people don't like it, but in my opinion, this is the hard reality. Now coming to point number eight, let's say you get a new job and you get 100% hike or you get 120% hike. 
which is really good but remember one thing if a company is paying you such a high salary they will demand a lot of output okay if you are exceptionally talented and if you are able to give that output good but otherwise if you are not up to the mark there are chances that in the next few years the company that hires you will kind of average you out on the salary part in terms of appraisals so today if you get 100% hike and you are ahead of your peers in terms of salary but if you don't perform there are high chances that in the next 3 4 years they will bring you down back to the average having said that now we come to the last point this is extremely important guys in order for you to have a very good working environment you need to make sure that you get into a very good working relationship with your one up and your one down okay if you don't get along with your manager or boss or if you don't get along with your subordinates your work life will become like a toxic marriage okay where you will have continuous fights or battles or tussles so make sure that you make very good working relationships with your one up and with your one layer down that will help you perform as well as grow so these are some of the things i thought i should share with you most of the times these points are taken as negative connotations but i wanted to make sure that you get the right perspective i hope this was helpful to you guys feel free to comment on this video and ask if you have any questions and do subscribe to the channel if you have not done it already please note that subscription is free you don't need to pay for subscribing if you need me to create videos on any specific topics do comment and let me know i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye for now